another edition of Ask Dr. K. So today we're going to talk about how to interpret a pathology report. Now this is something really complicated and obviously doctors go to medical school to learn this stuff. Even people in my own family will sometimes send me a pathology report from something that they've had for me to help interpret it for them. So basically people will get a report like this after a surgery. And what happens is when any part of your body is taken out, it gets sent to a lab and the lab looks at the different parts um, with their own eyes and then they take pieces of it and look at it under a microscope. And after they've looked at it under a microscope, they describe everything that they saw and then they issue this report. It's really important as a patient who's had surgery to understand what your report means because basically this is going to tell you what was taken out and what was wrong with what was taken out. And ultimately you really want to know as an empowered patient what was your diagnosis you also might want to know if there was a mass or something like that, how big was it, how much did it weigh, and all the different issues about what exactly was going on with your own body. So we're going to go into some detail in how to understand your own pathology report. So here we have a typical pathology report. This is a report I received on a patient I performed a hysterectomy on for fibroids. You'll see in the upper right hand corner it identifies me as the surgeon in the facility where the surgery was performed. And then there's some basic identifying information under that. The most important section is the section here in bold. And this is the diagnosis. This is really the meat of the matter, the meat of the pathology report. And for you as a patient, this is the part you want to focus on with your doctor when you review the findings on your, at your post-operative visit. So this is the pathologist's summary of what they found when they examined your specimen. And it includes what they saw with the naked eye and also what they saw when they looked at the tissue under the microscope. So this is a summary of the entire specimen and what they found wrong with it. And it basically tells a patient what was wrong with them and why did they need to have this surgery. Now in the case of this particular patient, you can see that the diagnosis says that the uterus, both ovaries and tubes were removed as part of her operation. And then it says that the uterus weighed 550 grams. Now that's quite enlarged. A normal uterus weighs about 80 grams. And the reason it was enlarged is because she had what are called multiple leiomyomas. And that's just the medical word for fibroids. So the largest fibroid, it says, was about 7 centimeters. And that's what was causing her uterus to be so enlarged and to cause her abnormal bleeding. Now they also mentioned the other organs that were removed, the cervix, the ovaries, and the fallopian tube. And the report says that these organs were normal. So the problem that this patient had was basically all caused by her fibroids, and that's why we did her surgery. Now underneath that is a section called gross, and what that means is the gross analysis is what the specimen looks like to the naked eye. And this typically includes things like how much the specimen weighed and what the dimensions are, and they generally describe what they see. You'll notice at the bottom right hand corner it says that, there's, that this is page one of two pages. Now, I didn't include the second page here because the page two just basically says the microscopic diagnosis agrees with the summary as uh, shown here in bold. So this is the most important page and when you see your surgeon after surgery you should be given a copy of this report to keep for your records. So I hope this segment helped you understand your own pathology report better. Now we're also going to be posting a video of lifting the veil on a pathology consult, which is actually how this report is generated and the process of the pathologist actually looking at your specimen at the hospital. So keep an eye out for that in future videos. And again, if you have questions to submit, please send them in to askdrktv at gmail.com. We'll see you the next time.